Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Everybody's favorite SBC, the 85 times 10, is set to expire today on Sunday, along with a couple other SBCs. Is this the end, or is EA going to re-release that SBC on a weird Sunday? Usually that happens on a Monday. I want to talk about that today because there's a lot expiring today on Sunday inside of the menus, including the 95 plus shapeshifters player pick. I think EA might have something up their sleeves here, and I want to talk about that because if they just don't re-release these, this game is going to get real quiet real quick. But also, with FIFA 22 quieting down even more, the attention turned towards FIFA 23, and yesterday EA Sports confirmed three brand new icons, but they're forgetting two. And yes, I want to take you guys through that because only 98 of the 100 icons are shown on the icon release website from EA Sports right now. There are two missing, and there's a lot of guys that have not gotten FIFA 23 icons. They're not returning, including Maradona, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I want to take these two things and talk about them in today's video. Hope you're having a great weekend. Hope you have a great Sunday. If you're enjoying the vids, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. So let's start with FIFA 22, and then we'll work our way into FIFA 23 content and information. Let's start with this 85 times 10 SBC, because for what we have known for the better part of like the last month and a half almost, this 85 times 10 SBC has been expiring and re-releasing on Mondays. We still do not have it unlimited repeatable. EA have released other SBCs like the 95 plus shapeshifter that is unlimited repeatable. And we're just like waiting for this to be in that same category, right? Well, now both of these are set to expire today. And again, like I said, it's different because it usually ends on a Monday. Is it going away for good is the question. Since EA have changed something up here, is this 85 times 10 actually going to be going away and staying away? I doubt it. I really don't see EA doing that because, yes, they want to transition the hype towards FIFA 23, but you have cards that are in packs right now in the preseason best of 200 or, or batch 2, whatever you want to call it. These guys are still in packs for 12 days, and if they just take away the 85 times 10 and don't re-release it, that'd be ridiculously silly and really dumb, right? So I don't think that that is going to be the cause today, but I think EA might have a little trick up their sleeve. Like I mentioned, what they might be doing with this, and you've actually seen this recently with some of the other things that they have released SBC-wise, is I believe that they could be taking these off the game today, or these are going to be expiring today, but they are going to re-release them with very long expiration dates. Like these SBCs are probably going to get re-released today, and I would not be surprised if they would be set to expire on the same day as all of the footies SBCs. And that footies SBC expiration date, I believe, is the 23rd of September, which would literally be like right before the beginning of FIFA 23. And EA wants to make that tra transition pretty seamless, right? So that's kind of what I think EA might be doing here today. They just picked a day and they said, okay, all these SBCs are expiring. The 95 plus, the 85 times 10, the footies bash player pick is expiring today. The 87 plus player pick, the 93 plus icon moments. You know, when you log on at 6 p.m. content today on Sunday, it's probably going to seem like there was a lot released because there's going to be a few new SBCs, but it might just be re-release of the old same stuff. Hopefully, though, the change is that it's finally unlimited repeatable. I mean, they've released the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick unlimited repeatable for the past couple of days. The 87 plus player pick, the 93 plus moments SBC, all of this stuff we can do on repeat. The campaign bag player pick, same thing. Literally the only SBC we are waiting on to be able to do endless amount of times is the 85 times 10. It's very long overdue. We should have had this weeks ago. And here we still are not with that unlimited repeatable 85 times 10. But maybe today is finally the day. Honestly, it doesn't even matter that much because 10 85 times 10s a day is still a lot. But it is really interesting that EA has kind of brought this all down to the same day when it's going to expire. And I don't want to think about EA not re-releasing this because I guess there is a small percentage chance of that happening today but i feel like it's slim to none uh, i just kind of want to see what ea is going to do and i feel like the only explanation would be they're going to re-release it today with that long expiration date and kind of just basically say okay we're going to set these SBCs out and we're going to leave them here for you guys with batch two in packs with all the great special cards in packs so that the next two weeks if you still want to play fifa you can go out of here and grind these player picks Try to get those 99 overall Ronaldo, Messi, the Marcelo, the Conte, the Ginola, those cards that you may be chasing still from packs. 
and then craft into whatever other upgrade pack you want to craft in and call that end game. That's what I think their plan is. Uh, but, you know, we really don't know besides that. So let's talk about Sunday content just again for a, a quick second here today. Besides all the re-release of that SBC content, which I would expect, I'd be surprised if they didn't re-release just about everything. I mean, the only other shot at something other uh, content-wise coming today would be maybe a the last, like, it could it be the very last transfer player SBC of FIFA 22? Dybala is expiring. We've had Koulibaly and the, um, you know, the mistake Alexis Sanchez was finally released. Not, not him being a mistake. I'm saying EA's mistake with this SBC, of course. They did finally release it yesterday after kind of phantomly, phantomly, is that a word? Phantomingly releasing it on the, on Friday on the PlayStation or on the PC and the Xbox. But could there be one last moments transfer SBC today? Maybe. There's no leaks, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday have been usually three days of straight transfer player SBCs. Small potential for that today. I'm not expecting a really big day of content, which is why I also wanted to talk about in this video the FIFA 23 stuff. I feel like there is not enough of FIFA 22 or just FIFA 23 alone to talk about it by itself in a video. So I want to kind of combine it and just kind of bring you an update from basically yesterday in the whole FIFA realm as in general. Now, right before we get to that, I just remembered I have a year in review player pick. So let's rip this open. Come on, Kempembe hit me. Dude, I get Ole in like every single one of these, man. I, I don't even want him. Give me Taram. Thank you. Seriously, I feel like every single one of these I've opened, I've gotten one of the two versions of Ole. I have them both in the club. But let's get to FIFA 23 news because there's actually some really interesting things here that we have. Three new icons. That was the news, right? Jerd Muller with all three of his versions. He looks solid, right? I mean... I feel like this card in its baby version, the 89 rated Jared Muller with 89 pace and 90 shooting and 85 dribbling, that will be the second most desirable item. And I think his prime will be the most of desirable with 88 pace, 94 shooting and 88 dribbling. The mid just does not have as much pace. It does have great shooting, but you know, I feel like it's kind of a Del Piero situation where people like the baby and they like uh, the prime. So Jared Muller looks okay. Nothing super crazy. Jobby Alonso, aka Jobby Fodder, literally looks like, um, you know, Pep Guardiola's icon card. Pep Guardiola is no longer going to be an icon in FIFA. We'll talk about that. But he's getting replaced with Jobby Alonso, basically. Same type of pace stats and stuff like that on a card. Definitely a bit of a bummer to see the stats, but it is what it is. Still an icon, deserving of an icon card. Just the stats, EA Sports are not really uh, juicing them up too much. And the real icon people are excited about is Jarzinho. All three of his versions look really cracked. I really hope that 88 rated card has the hair trait like that in game because that would be crazy. And every single version that he has, it gets better as you move on. Now, let's talk about the interesting thing. EA Sports have said that there will be 100 icons in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. And this list of 100 icons means some icons from this last year of FIFA 22 will not be included. And of course, we do have three brand new ones. But if you would count, and I did this to double check, there are only 98 icons listed on EA's website in the class of 23, if you will. So we're missing two. And who are those two? Are there going to be two brand new icons that are still not announced yet? Or are there two older icons that have been released in previous years that are not set to be released right now, but will be included when the game drops? And that's what a lot of people are speculating about and tweeting about. Here's a really big tweet from Donk. He says, two more icons. It says 100, only shows us 98, which is exactly correct, as this website shows. And here's the list of some of the icons that are not in. Iker Casillas, Maradona, Cafu, Deco. Baggio is actually in, if you see on the website, he's like literally one of the first cards right there. Giggs, Guardiola, Overmars, and Inzaghi. And again, he says here at the bottom, unclear if they will be added later or are just going to be removed, right? Here's my first thought. Cafu, hello? He literally just got an icon card last year. It was nice to have more than Carlos Alberto as a Brazilian defender, although they're both right backs. In FIFA, Cafu was a really, really good card. Had one of the most insane icon moments, dynamic images of him kissing the World Cup trophy. That was incredible. Uh, and then my, obviously, Maradona not being in FIFA would be obviously really sad because he was obviously taken off of the game earlier this year um, due to image rights, I believe it was. Um, and his card now on the market, it was extinct. I'm pretty sure that it is extinct at like 15 million coins. His price has been going up a lot. 
13.6 mil. Basically, it was in July when it was announced that he was not going to be in FIFA anymore because of some rights issues, and he shot up in price a ton, and it looks like he's not going to be in FIFA 23, which is a bummer. But I do have to say that if they're, you know, they're, they're not doing some of the icons that are in this year's game. Uh, they're not re-releasing some of the icons in FIFA 23 that they did in FIFA 22. The ones they're not re-releasing are ones that we're not really excited about, right? Inzaghi, Overmars, Pep Guardiola, Ryan Giggs, Deco, Casillas is a goalkeeper. Okay, it was kind of cool to have Casillas, but okay. And then the other guys are mostly like fodder, if you will. Now, the one thing that I just thought about, and I want to look on here, is do they show Nakata? I mean, I don't know if I can like control F in midfielders and see if I can find Nakata, because if you remember right, I just control F and he was not in there. Let me try him again. Nakata, no. So two of the icons that were icons in previous years, Nakata and Okocha, now have hero cards in FIFA 23. They are not included in this list. So maybe that's where the two or the 98 out of 100 is coming in, um, and maybe this is an error on EA Sports's part, or if they're actually going to give two more icon cards a card, or maybe they're working with Maradona, Cafu, you know, maybe Inzaghi or Giggs or Deco. Like, I don't know if they're still going to work through some of these image rights and get one or two or three of these guys into the game by the time FIFA 23 releases. Uh, but that's very interesting where EA says 98 icons, or they say 100 icons here, but there's only 98 in the class. So that's kind of the interesting part. We're really not too sure about that. Uh, now, also in related to FIFA 23, Donk tweeted as well, and I, I guess we would take this as a leak, right? He said that uh, a ratings reveal is coming on Monday, two days till the hype. Some stats have changed. That's were not final on that Xbox leaked release of ratings, which if you watch the video that we posted a couple of days ago, uh, a kind of uh, informal or uh, like, you know, how EA kind of scheduled their release of the hype, right? Them starting to push out some of the ratings uh, in this next week really, really starts to make sense. So that's some big news. Definitely be watching out for that. We're going to be, of course, looking out for that information because that will really start to bring the hype. And I also think that will start to turn the corner of where EA will stop doing stuff on FIFA 22 and start doing stuff on FIFA 23. So Monday is going to be a big day for that, of course, tomorrow. But for today on Sunday, again, like I'm mentioning, really curious to see if they go ahead and re-release the 85 times 10 or the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick but then maybe put it out for like 12 days and then it ends with everything else that is ending in terms of the big SBCs, in terms of the other, you know, player transfer SBCs that are on this game as well as the footies cards. Uh, everything maybe just going to be ending on that September 23rd date when the cards go out of packs, that kind of corresponds with the batch two. And, you know, that kind of seems to be like the shutdown date of FIFA 22 live content. Then, of course, they'll go into 23. So that's the biggest question that we have today. We will see what happens on content today on Sunday. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.